Ladies and gentlemen, we're sitting at 28,793 skill points, which is position 356 on the world leaderboard. Uh, 2302 hours played, 2301 and 767. So far, we've gone undefeated on our current iteration of these settings with 42 days, 8 hours and 41 minutes till the end of season 15. What is up? Risk takers, welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me, ladies and gentlemen. We're playing another round. We are advanced fixed capitals, true random dice with alliances, nothing fancy. Other than that, I'm in the fourth seat and. This jumps out to me so far. Hungry. Hungry, hungry? Who's hungry for? I don't really have anything else. Oh, man, that makes it worse. I'm going to need a good relationship with purple. Okay, what about this? North Africa takes Spain, hopefully quickly. <laughs> okay, we'll try that. And hope to get reasonably good dice. Nobody else in Spain, right? Start with the bottom left. We'll play the bottom left. See how that goes. Settings. We're doing Capital Conquest on Europe Advanced with a bunch of alterations to the meta. Uh, auto setup, 60 second turn is normal. We use fixed cards instead of progressive. We use true random dice instead of balance splits because balance splits is broken for caps. Uh, we are not filtering players in the lobby. We're using alliances on um, for the ability to communicate with no fog, no portals, no blizzards. Um, yes, alliances. And, of course, very important for fixed capitals is the neutral bot. Um, we don't want a situation where a player can get strong in the three-player, bot out, and end up killing the other two because they hit each other. That's not what's up. That's not what we want to do. So here's how this board looks. Green is going to be in the new corner position. Red is going to be in Russia. Great. Uh, yellow is going to be in Denmark. Purple is going to be here. So all of my uh, opponents are clustered in the top middle. I'm going to take bottom left. So I am I capped in North Africa, and I'm going to want to work on Spain turn one. Hopefully we get it. Either that or we just snag the white cap, because white is a player who has decided he would not like to play this game. And they capped and bought it on the first turn. Rakanishu thought he was playing... A different game, I suppose. Okay. Purple's left until vulnerable. That two should go into the four. Right. All right. Let's see if I can negotiate with, with my opponents. Who would like to ally? Yep. Taking the white capital turn one. What am I going to get? So I have 14 territories. I should get... I'll have four at least. Is he going to roll 5v2? Papa? Bobby, Bobby time? No. Okay, so I'm going to have 14 territories. Hopefully that cap doesn't have any more on top of it. Um, okay, so... Oh, because he actually surrendered. Yay! I think I just roll this, right? Uh, what's it going to be? A 9v4? Oh, man, I hope I don't fail that roll. We got to try. We got to try for the two cap open. Oh, please. Yeah, we, we are obliterated. <laughs> In fact, we are obliterated by that roll. Okay. Too bad for us. We lose our opening troops. Now, green goes for it. I hope green gets punished as I do, but no, that, that won't happen. We'll have a two-cap open. Good for green. He got reasonably punished. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Me not being the strongest person in the open is usually good. Um, usually my opponents hit each other. So it appears that I am a bit weak and we will work on the recovery from here on. Yellow takes Scandi. Easily and obviously. Cool. Yeah, all of these guys are going to be uh, uh, sandwiched in between each other, right? So then it's going to be a question of who hits who, and I hopefully have there. So if green can leverage his additional troops. Mm 
on the capital. He probably takes new corner next, unless he breaks. If he's a bad neighbor, he breaks yellow. Oh, this is very helpful. Thank you, purple. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was a homie play. Oh, yeah. I understand what you're doing. I don't think anyone's going to roll a six cap. Purple does roll 6v2 here. I betcha and moves the two up and out of the bonus I'm trying to take to guard Italy on the bottom line. Um, yep. Okay. And red will take Russia now, I betcha. Probably splits and holds the capital strong. No, he doesn't even take. He's going to wait another turn for a bonus. Okay, so I don't want to get obliterated by a two. All we do is take this yellow one, which, ugh, see what I mean? <laughs> I'm having bad dice luck in the open. And that's, that's a thing that happens, right? So the, the trade-off we're making with true random is we are allowing, um, hopefully, the caps dice to be more normal in the late game. And what we are sacrificing is we are sacrificing stability in the open. So the reason I'm not using blizzards is because an unstable open on fixed capitals um, can be just super, super snowball and lucky. So if that occurs, um, we don't want to be in a situation where we just lose. The, I'm, I'm trying to maximize the skill potential from these settings, right? I want to be able to win via skill. Um, and I think these settings do leverage many of those options for the game. All right, my luck has got to even out. So I'm going to get no less than five troops. I'll go here, and I need to go pop, pop, take a plus four on the third turn, which is slow considering how much everyone else is getting that goes down that 17 goes straight down yeah and he takes a third plus four which is going to start scaring um somebody we hope somebody addresses this maybe green maybe yellow actually it looks like green and yellow or uh, yellow and purple have a really good thing going on red is on the uh back foot here as am i so if and when we hope a war in the middle of the board gets started me and red will be able to grow in the opposing corners. But that's a lot of ifs. And let's see who addresses who. Because so far, the only people who accept my alliance are the two that are holding stable borders. So it stands to reason that these guys know how to negotiate with each other. Let's take a look at the players. Uh, in the first position, we have Eliana Mangat from Turkey. Things purple. In the second seat, we have Kurtzoi. Kurtzui, 46. Katsui from Netherlands. In the third position, we have somebody who didn't realize that they didn't want to play. I'm in the fourth position, playing as blue. In the fifth position, the green player is John P. Kelleher from USA. And in the final seat, the yellow player is General Krishna Murthy, 7327, from Serbia. And hoppa, hoppa. And now we have a bonus. I don't think red breaks me. And I have sort of a staking a claim to my second bonus and we'll see i don't know that anyone's addressing purple so this just might be a purple snowball from the middle position which is very interesting to see I don't want a two point on that Spain, so maybe I dedicate some troops to taking Gascony and hold and build a Gascony stack and then eventually take France. But the rest of this board is organized, so we're waiting for somebody to go bad to each other. Yellow shouldn't be taking France. That's not. Oh, are yellow gonna break me? That's too bad. That's unfortunate. No, he just takes a card with a big puncher. I respect that a lot more. Thank you. My butthole did pucker. Yellow needs me to deal with purple. And yellow's not willing to throw the first punch. 
Purple's playing his seat correctly. Purple is guarding. So where do you go now if you're purple, right? You're going to start to offend everybody. At 64 troops. I only have 20 troops. Fuck me. Set? No set. Guys. Guys, it's dire. It's quite dire. Yellow playing, or uh, purple here playing very properly. Just guarding. The only thing purple's doing that I don't like is they don't have enough troops on their capital. Yeah, and that goes into purple now, right? Or does it take the plus eight? I don't think it holds the plus eight. Yeah, that's, this is incorrect for red. Red won't get to hold. If Maybe they do, because everyone's now playing this board incredibly passive. I've been waiting for someone to go to bad neighbor, and nobody has. So if nobody has, I die. I actually get last. But I figure someone does. Someone must. That's way too many troops for... Uh, Red. All right, now we just start taking board. Yeah, my dice are not great. <laughs> My dice are not great, but that's okay. We sort of staked our claim on the piece of the board we want. Now, green's in two positions. What do you do if you're green? What's more troops on his capital? Okay. If nobody breaks red, red wins this game, right? He's getting plus 15. Um, be very impressed, actually, if nobody breaks red. I think purple might. Okay. My next attack has to include hitting Gascony because I want to maintain the future of taking cards. Now, does purple try and leverage their advantage into red? Because this would be the, your chance to address red. You end red's game here. No, purple takes another bonus. Purple's greedy. And he's surrounding me. You're going to leave me with nowhere to go, sir, is the problem. Red getting so many troops, fuck. They fail their card take because they didn't put troops down properly. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Red's catching up to purple real quick here. Leave myself open to purple. But I have a 14 cap, and I now have plus 10, which is pretty good. Purple out generates me, but that's okay. I don't mind being kind of out of the way here. If purple betrays, then they're in the middle, so then they face a problem from other sides as well. But I can't communicate with red. So I'm kind of worried about red. Green's going to be boxed in, as am I. Okay. Yellow getting 14. Their only card option is Brittany. Or my five in Gascony. They do take the card option available to them. Okay, we've learned good things about yellow. Yellow would like to respond. Yeah, and purple now getting 23. So purple maintaining their advantage. Sets gets the four. Which way do they go? They also trade in France.
I'm surprised we're letting Red hold what we're letting Red hold. Yeah, trades in France doesn't break Germany. Zero chance of him breaking Germany. Leaves a three in. That's kind of disrespectful. Okay. Red breaks on that line? No. Red doesn't gain anything by breaking purple. This game's going to go a long time. <laughs> this game's going to go a long time, folks. Okay, so what am I getting? 28. About half and half. Like 15 here. Attack purple. You attack purple. You attack purple. Don't fucking tell the weakest player to do anything. Don't fucking boss the weakest player around as if I can do anything. Not looking terribly weak, actually. Yellow's like a turn ahead of me. Well, what's yellow getting? One, two, three, plus five. Yeah, I'm generating more than him now. No, we're generating the same. Green's actually generating the lowest, but they have two capitals on two different positions. So I would say green's in the strongest position long term if they know how to play. That's why I tried to take a second capital. I would have controlled the bottom of the map, right? With the second capital, I would have gone all the way here. I would have had Orient, North Africa, or I would have had Orient, West Africa, Spain. We'll see. Yellow is going to break purple or not, but I don't have to follow because they're not going to break me. There's nothing they can do to me. It would be smarter to break red than it would be to break purple. That Yeah, that's going into red. Ah, good. We see our first break on turn six. Red gets both their bonuses broken. Okay, so red's no longer generating a lot. And as long as I stay cool with purple... Which is also a big if. I mean, look. Two ways to guard here. This guard is obviously going to be on gas and it's not going to move. Um, I could guard here with twos. I could guard here to match eight and six. What I'm doing instead, and I think what I will be doing, is I will just stack on this capital, and this capital is always open to purple. So if purple, if purple breaks me ever, I get to retaliate on this line. And based on the fact that purple continues to stack here, they are going to break me at some point. So it's better to to lose the generation than it is to lose the stack and the generation. I think at least. Okay, so now red has to retaliate on yellow. I'm still the weakest player. Red sets gets the 10. That 43 goes into Germany. This is good for purple. Purple probably wins this game just from this move. Right now the board is fundamentally imbalanced in his favor. So yellow, yellow has weakened red and themselves. Ooh. I don't need to listen to yellow because they can't do anything to me. Um, and yeah, I would love to break purple, but uh, unfortunately they are twice my fucking size. <laughs> so that's not going to work. Uh, maybe green and I can coordinate on purple, but that's a long-term play. Green is taking Orient or taking most of it. And now yellow realizes what he has done because nobody has his back and he's pinned in. Yellow loses first, I think. Yeah. Opens the red capital. Fortifies back to cap. No. Keeps a stack out. Okay. Says, you punch me, I punch you. Interesting. Interesting strat for yellow. Okay. So we are now no longer the weakest player. And purple's a 38 stack. Really get me. 
kind of can, but I don't think Purple's worried about me. Purple and I have a good mutually assured destruction thing going on, so. Purple's trying to create a trading zone with Green and Orient. Green will eventually, no, he, he backs off. Okay, Green's going to take Orient now. And red, okay, red's going to go pop pop on those stacks, break on the top line, and then fortify some of the 49 to capital. Dude, did I call that or what? Not all. And that's why you don't poke the bear, because now yellow can't do anything. Yellow can't get cards. Um... Up there, yellow can't break the guy he broke again. He also can't hold a bonus. It's pretty much game for the yellow player. I'm gonna put some interior threes. Yeah, green takes orient in this mess. Yellow loses first. I'm happy to be generating in the middle. So I'm generating 10 a turn. What? That can't be it. I'm generating more than 10 a turn. Generate 18 a turn, which is quite nice. I've been out generating green, haven't I? Until now. Now I'm not. Yeah. And Yellow re realizes that everyone has stable borders but him. So he's fucked. And now you... Oh, you break again. Okay, that's bad for red. Lucky he had cards, but uh, still probably game over for both. This is really good for purple. Doesn't break the uh, plus eight. Oh, yellow. Yellow's toast, man. That's toast. Red's going to fucking pop you. 100%. You're going to lose that 11. Red's going to stack all here, maybe off a set, pop you, sit in the fucking bonus again, and then you won't have it another time. Okay, so purple's guarding. Guarding, guarding, guarding. 52 puncher. Oh, he's teaming. Okay, purple's working with yellow. Poor red. Red dies first. Didn't see that one coming. Red got effectively teamed on. Probably by use of alliance. Green didn't accept. Ah, red's toast. Poor red. Go down and break. Break everything purple has. Yeah, break everything purple has. Fuck yeah. That's going to give me advantage now. Girl says good luck. Right. That's going to give me advantage now. Because I don't have to fucking do anything. Yeah, I can have a locked Gascony stack. I'll just keep taking cards on yellow until I run out. This is good. So far, I'm not in a war. Does green contribute to the war effort? It's gonna hit me. Fuck. Okay. Okay. That's difficult to address. Open me. Open me. Open me. Please, let me fucking pop this guy. Thank you, purple. Open me.
please, 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 please open me. Yeah. Don't look like he's gonna. Yeah, he doesn't. Still in a very bad position here. Got both the jokers. Regenerating too much. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to retake the pocket. Just going to retake the pocket. Okay, he gives me his fucking capital. <laughs> please, please don't take it, Purple. Let me have it. Oh, if Purple's distracted. Oh, if Purple's distracted, folks. I'll take a second capital, right? And Purple takes it. Yeah, purple takes it. Why wouldn't purple take it? I'm in big trouble. Purple doesn't take it? Purple's taking that bonus back. That's so weird. It's the worst place for him to have suck have convinced himself he owns. He's also unbeatably large, so green going bad to me means green and I die. Uh, yellow, go don't take it. Don't take it. Let me have it. No, stop. No, let me have it. No, he's going to fucking fortify a stack too. God damn it. Lose 5v1. Run out of time. Okay, this is fucking fine. I'll take a second capital. Unless red rolls down through my three. Red breaks purple. Break purple, man. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, this is good for green. Purple should not be remotely surprised that red's breaking the shit out. Oh, no, he's going to take the cap. Oh, no, red, no. You have no troops. You're the last guy who should have that fucking cap. You have one cap. Okay, good. I actually steal green's cap. It's not good because he's getting way more fucking troops than me. But, like, roll your fucking... Roll all your troops into that, then. Roll all your troops into that, you fucking asshole. Ugh. Eighteen plus twenty-three, lose everything on the cap? Now what? We didn't realize how badly he fucked up. He's equal to fucking purple now. Because I can't retaliate. Purple didn't help me. When when they needed when I needed them, they didn't help me. I'm actually on team red here, even though red can't I can't talk to. Ha, tell me you quit. Tell me you quit from that. Tell me you fucking bought out. Good. Good. Bought the fuck out then. Ha! The strongest player is botting out because he made a mistake. <laughs> Fuck you, Green. Fuck you. You suck. Blah. 
<laughs> okay, so how is this game going to go? We got 10 minutes on the clock for Green to go MIA, and during those 10 minutes, he is going to be generating so many troops, and he utterly fucked my position. In order for me to win this game from here, I have to play incredibly carefully and just let these guys keep hitting each other. I don't know. I think purple still has it. We could just ignore green section of the board. Treat it like it doesn't exist at all. Maybe. I have two capitals. We're going to be taking cards and we're going to be stacking on those capitals. And if I can get a bonus, yellow's quitting too? Oh no. Are we having a disconnect issue? Oh no. What's going to happen then? Then I just get crushed by whomever's not uh, not disconnected. Okay, purple retaliates on red. Doesn't even take their bonuses back. Goes to steal the red capital. Loses reasonably big on it. They won't be able to defend both. And they can't fortify their 19 to the other one because it's not connected. Yeah, you're not a good player. Oops. I want to chirp him, but not going to be productive. Okay, red has cards. Retakes his capital. This war isn't over. Red also not accepting my alliance request. He doesn't have cards. <gasps> oh no. All right, so I have to low play this somehow, right? There's three on a two, of course we do. Okay, we've got another 10 set. Stay disconnected, green. I should actually stall my turns so he gets less troops on the board. Ugh, I hate stalling. Yeah, so red's pretty much defeated here. I think this game is over. Not having those players exist when they needed to. That's the end of this game. Maybe they come back. Sets retakes his capital. Please don't bot, because then I'm in a 1v1. And and this game will end before the 10-minute timer. Okay, Satsuri takes his capital off the top line. It's a foregone conclusion that I'm getting second here, guys. Just so you know. I'm just trying to wait out the clock so that the disconnect of green and yellow holds.
I don't know. Part of me wants to run up through Italy and take cards on green in France, but it's too late for that. I just need the other capital to be in the mix. Hmm. That's all we do. We just take a card. I want this timer to go. We're at six minutes of the 10. I need green and yellow to actually go MIA. I'm not getting a fucking fifth place here. Ah. Uh. I think we just withstand on our capitals. Let red die. I want the other two go MIA. We got fucking second. What an awful, awful game. We lost both these guys. I don't know why. Happened at the exact same moment. And pops the red cap. Yeah, loses badly, but it doesn't matter. Unless red has a follow-up trade. Oh, this is a sad state of affairs. Red does have a trade. Can he help me turn the tide on purple? Is there a way that I can full sue purple? Cover? Maybe. Yeah, the answer is maybe. Okay, green's gone MIA. Yellow goes MIA now. Purple's still getting slammed by me. Yeah, no shit. You didn't help me when I needed you. You didn't help me the one time I needed you. Fuck you and fuck your alliance. Oh, look who came back. All right. Ended up not being a real game, folks. Yellow magically came back in the nick of time once I've already hit my opponent. Yellow is a scumbag. And we will probably get the points recovered from this game. Too bad. Ugh. This is how yellow needs to win games, by being a piece of garbage. Is Red still alive? I don't know. Weird finish. Very unsatisfying finish. And not what I would have expected because I had a chance um, against Purple in a 1v1 to outskill him. Um, our troop counts were close enough, but the existence of Yellow returning ruins that completely. And it looks like now that uh, Purple and Red have bought it, so I, there's no chance I face... Only yellow, who's double my strength.
Now we do the same thing and caps die. Sad. Okay, maybe yellow fucks up this 1v1? It looks like we've lost purple. Man, I'm gonna air this game, but I don't want to, right? This game shows everything that's wrong with Risk right now. Sad. Lock off my capital to yellow. Maybe he doesn't realize he's in a 1v1. If he needs to fucking bot out to win games, then maybe he's not very good. Well, you got caught on fucking YouTube, sir. And tens of thousands of people know you're a piece of shit. This is particularly egregious, and it will look very bad on YouTube. <laughs> give me my fucking points back. Ugh, I don't even give a shit about my points. I just wish they fixed the game. You should be able to return after a couple of turns. At the most. Mm -hmm. Now I break on the other line and take more board as I go. Maybe I have generated. I mean, it's close. It's it's that's close enough for me to try. Close enough for me to try. Let's try. Fuck this guy.
Sets gets the 10. Mm-hmm. Don't think there's really any hope. Did he go positive? <laughs> well, we've confirmed one thing from this. Sorry, we confirmed another thing from this video, folks. In addition... In addition to the reconnect disconnect system being broken, the caps dice and true random are still broken. If someone knows the um, the math, um, I would like you to give me a probability of uh, thirty six v nineteen cap roll going positive. I'm guessing it's like one in a thousand, so it's not impossible, right? It's just highly improbable. <laughs> Ah. All right, let's wait for these losers to disconnect. Quite the tedious 1v1, folks. It's fun playing against someone who doesn't know how to play. <laughs> it's like, if this guy lets me beat him, I will fucking laugh. After cheating. <laughs> Uh-huh. Good job, buddy. Good for you. What if I send him a alliance request? <laughs> what if I send him an alliance request? <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Can't believe you went fucking positive on that cap roll. It's so insulting. <laughs> That's so fucking insulting. I can't believe it. All right. And I got a plan. I got a sneaky plan, folks. It might not work. We're going to go for it. So I'm going to add Romania and go east, breaking all of his, or uh, go west rather, breaking all of his bonuses. And I'm going to fortify here. Maybe he doesn't see. I'm going to do it quickly. And this will set me up. And I can go off cap because, like, I don't fucking matter, right? The bots have caps and shit. So he's not going to win in a caps victory. But what this is going to do is it's going to hopefully, yes, purple goes MIA. What this is going to do is it's hopefully going to Give me a chance to interact with the board. Let's see if I can get into the center pocket. He's getting 11. 72 to 116. Does he set he does? Okay, 72 to 128. That goes down? No, that takes the one cap in the Orient. That takes the one cap in the Orient? Fine. I was getting a lot of extra value from that for way too fucking long. And there were no troops on it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, he, he lets me hold additional territories, too. Which he shouldn't be doing. Go off cap with that. Yeah, let me hit... Use capital troops. Let me get that cap back in the middle. Dude, I can't win this fucking game. There's no way. There's no way. I'm in a 1v1 with yellow. Yellow's twice my troops. He's gonna leave that cap open in the middle of the board, right? Seven troops on it? 
Get fuckity fuck fuck fucked. Get fucked. Fuck you. Get mother mother fucked. Tw I lose 27. Oh man, the dice. The dice just will not <laughs> let me win this game. Fuck. That's so. Ah, oh, that's so disappointing. You know. He goes positive on a cap, and I go negative on a stack. It is what it is, though, when you play true random. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my last attempt to put myself into a position where I might generate some advantage here. And we have, with our Joker, a dude straight. Sometimes the game decides for you, folks. And this is one of those times. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of this fun and entertaining, maybe a little bit educational and informative. Don't do what this guy did. This guy's a piece of shit. I'm not trading that. Why not just keep fighting? Like, he sucks. He's letting me hold too much. Why not just keep fighting? Right? Is that a thing that's possible? quit so bad but i just can't bring myself to, to quit right can't bring myself to quit because <laughs> of my sense of justice i need this man to die 13 a turn okay we now have a trade at least okay You're letting me hold too much board is your problem. Don't let me do that. Take every territory I have and hit it. Maybe the dice comes back to me. Who knows? Yes. Yes. And okay. fortifies out where cool. Yeah, we win. Yeah, we win a seven v six. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do, folks. <laughs> Don't let me grind you. Don't let me grind you. Just beat me, man. Just beat me. Oh, my God. You have so many more troops than me. Just fucking beat me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please. Lose four to one, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Go off cap, go off cap, go off cap, go off cap. Go off cap. Go off cap to break. Let me steal your cap. Let me fucking steal your cap. Yeah, that's that, right? He finally figured it out by watching me do it. Build the fortify? Nope. <laughs> this is a dire situation too. It's been a rough game for the dice. Should not still be alive. Lose a few one. <laughs> Lose all your troops. <laughs> Lose all your troops. Okay, and fortifies what to the capital? Like 20, 20 something? That's what you should have done a long time ago, man. That's what you should have done a long time ago. Oh, I can't bring myself. To, I can't bring myself to stop hitting this guy. I don't know what it is. I just hate this guy so much. <laughs> 
I just ate him, and I want him to die. Uh, <laughs> uh, no set on four. Fuck me. Yeah, almost cleans out of the pocket. Good. Finally. Fuck. Well, I'd say well played, but he's a cheating piece of shit. So there you have it, folks. Ugh. Awful. Awful. So would that record the game, I'm guessing? It looked like it did. Eight three three four. I go up. No, I go down. Let's see, we're twenty eight three three four, which puts us at. If I look at the screen, it'll show us again, right? Yeah. No, still says twenty seven nine three there. Uh, position three sixty. Let's confirm. Uh, sitting at position three sixty, it says that I have twenty eight seven nine three, but I think I actually have twenty eight. Maybe I do. Well, position 360. There you have it, folks. That was a very unsatisfying ending. Hope you enjoyed it somewhat. Um, the benefit of the ending is I, I'm, I can actually show you how to um, grind up from a losing position in fixed uh, caps when your opponent is not only a cheater, but also uh, bad at the game. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you found some of this fun and entertaining. Maybe a little bit educational and informative if you are interested in getting better at the Game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels and come along the ride with me in SMG, give me my fucking points back. For all of you on the path to world domination, good games, good luck.